I'm the Pope and this is World Conquest Argentina. But before we get to that, there's a bunch of stuff to do in this country. As opposed to current Argentina, the country we are stepping in back then has a little bit of inflation, as well as a slight economic depression and corruption. And we are recovering from a coup in 1930. But thankfully times have improved since then. Since we do want to uh, get the Pope, we do have to hold some elections, sadly. If you want to go communist, you don't have to. We can pick one of two leaders here. It's not gonna matter at all because we do want the Pope. So these guys are gonna get shot. To get a Pope in power, we first have to start a small kerfuffle in Argentina, which means we are going to do some Bulgarian politing. In other words, we are going to ally three factions, do a focus to get a fourth one, and then do a focus that starts the civil war. With the civil war started, we also got five billion militias. <laughs> free attack? Who would have thought that in a Spanish focused mod we would have to suffer in a Spanish civil war again? Even if we don't play in Spain. With these guys I'm gonna try and make this encirclement. We're gonna pin a little bit here. Then with these we can also make a small encirclement here. Wait, where's the... We don't have the inflation bra... Wait, do we have inflation? Hang on! We don't have inflation anymore. Alright, we have broken through with one of these guys. Sadly can't turn you into a horse, so you're just gonna have to walk. Alright, I'm gonna try and get this pocket. Just gotta make sure that none of these guys get any funny ideas here. The front is getting quite unmanned for the Republicans? The... The... Uh... Heretics! Yes, we are Catholics. All of these guys are fucking ass. I guess we're gonna take... Oh, that's 40 phones. Okay, that's... Two pockets, I see. Or two potential pockets. Ah, uh, not this one. There we go, this one. And then this one. Oh, come on. That could have been a border. Yeah, sure, let's let's just try and get the snaking going here. If that works out, we can just crush the entire opposition here. All these guys are just snaking. I am just gonna say go. Chaos control. <laughs> that guy just teleported. That would have been the capital for free. Do I want to switch guns? Uh, not really. I'd rather keep the production efficiency. This mod also adds a bunch of extra provinces, so I accidentally encircled Buenos Aires instead of taking it because I didn't see that it was a tiny separate province. Next time, just take the capital immediately, you fuck. I'm gonna block black ice in my chat and in the comments. <laughs> He's just going full star on boat. Gotta purge all of my commenters. Benito's Eldritch Wild Ride. Ahoy for horror mode. 90% of text are in place. I guess we're gonna save that for later. And now, after we have won the civil war, we shall become the true pope. Look at this, I know. We are a nice shade of Prussian yellow, and the guy has a funny little hat and a look that you may have seen before. All right, I'm just gonna train these guys. All right, train. Train. Why do they have a golf cart? We got... Wow! Thank god I spent 35 days on that. Ah, we just got a war goal against Chile. I guess that's still fine. How many men do you have? 8 to 31. <laughs> oh, we can change that. <laughs> that was a non-core manpower! I love modded focus trees. I usually don't pick this one, but we do have a bunch of stability stuff, so... I'm actually gonna steal some civilian trains for once. God demands it. Chili, come on, at least have units here. Can we just march up here? Is that it? Wait, 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 wait. The inflation is not over. It has only just begun. <laughs> you know what? Let's just end the inflation, you know? Let's just say no. People can't legally inflate you without your consent. Um, hang on a minute. Okay, we're good. Would be nice if we could just take the capital here. Uh, the preliminary capital. Is that enough? Nice! That also gives us more boats, although I don't think we need the boats anymore. Potentially do Bolivia. We do have a very nice border with Bolivia now. It would have been too easy, wouldn't it? I guess we don't have a nice border with Bolivia. I am tempted to just battle plan this. I'm the greatest general alive! I can crush someone with 20 units. Not looking forward to this war, though. We are... Lacking aluminum. I don't think that's down here. Bolivia has... No, Brazil has two. I guess we're gonna have to import a little bit then. I guess Greece. We can support Greece. That's gonna piss off Mussolini and that's always a victory. Ecuador is asking us for aid. Remove one military factory! Bro, you are on your own. I'm gonna send you some military aid, but it's not gonna something that you like, I can tell you that much. How many... Ah, come on. Is there a... VP close by. I guess these two. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Target acquired. No, that was not enough. You are also getting annexed. 
for a change. I guess we can do this for now. I can't give you the Mountaineer symbol, so you get the teeth. We could wait a little bit more until these guys are trained, but attrition is gonna wreck us anyway, so I guess we can try and get these supply hubs. It's also gonna be relatively useful. <laughs> Force attack, eh? But like, these guys don't have any supply, so it makes sense. Okay, we do have the supply up here. I will just have to link it up. And then we can potentially also get this one while they are distracted. Oh, please stop attacking, guys. Hang on. We can get our mighty air force over here. It's probably gonna get shredded because I never bothered to actually get more fighters going. Okay, wait a minute. We can potentially meme a little bit here. Right. I'm gonna see if we can make an encirclement here. The attrition is hitting us pretty hard, though. That one is bordering these two states. So let's attack here. You can reinforce here. There we go. Well, that's still 3D divisions that we're gonna encircle here. It's not gonna be amazing, but every bit counts. True. We could do some naval invasions. It's actually a very good idea. Don't we won't have to fight on this attritionless land. I just assigned everyone. Whoopsie daisy. <gasps> the enemy! I'm gonna snake with one of these to Sao Paulo. And one to Porto Alegre. Guys, why are you leaving? I'm gonna... Tr oh, never mind. They're attacking here, alright. We are counter-attacking then. That attack might have just thrown the game here. I guess we're just gonna push into here. There we go. The AI is just panicking now. Uh, same as our AI. Oh, this is such a mess. This is the South America experience. Supply is just non-existent. With the situation on the front getting very dire now, I had to make a decision. We already lost a few divisions in the north and our entire southern army was now encircled as well, without any supply. We were on a clock. 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 Alright, let's get two of those vampires. Get them down here. Alarm! Alarm! Yes! Okay, boys. That... Probably just save the front down here. Bro, this is so sloppy. <laughs> so everybody's getting encircled here. Okay, that confused the AI even more. This guy can do the encirclement and these guys are gonna rescue that one then. So another seven divisions? It's just a supply down here. It's so South American. We make this encirclement. It's probably gonna be enough to battle plan the rest. Why is there just one division here? No, 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 no. That's not a one division front. Not when we're going for an so oh. oh, it just takes ages to move here. Now, this was such a nice encirclement. I could say something here about black eyes. If I do, I already know what the comments are gonna be for the next five months until I play South America and black eyes. Because South America right now without nukes is already bad enough. <laughs> I don't need the black eyes mechanics for that one as well. Finally, that war took way too long. Yep, that's just, that's just one thing that I didn't want to look at. But if we get a little bit of planning bonus, surely, surely we can just break through there. <laughs> Wasn't worried for a second. At this point, I realized I forgot about the notes that I made for this playthrough. And one of my notes was that there's still a focus tree over here. That would have been 7.5% more attack. I just wanted to make another encirclement, but sure, I'll take that. You know what? Do we really have to continue this? Do we really have to continue this? At this point, we had to fight a faction consisting of Ecuador, Colombia and Amazonia with the five different Amazon pockets because of impassable terrain. I was not looking forward to this. <laughs> no shot am I gonna fight these guys fairly. Another 0.5 recruitable pop. 20% capital ship attack! Mods are so stupid. What if we just invite every single South American nation into the Organization of American States? Yeah, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna get these guys on these generals. I don't really like these generals. They the traits suck. Better these traits than nothing. The locals in Republic of Ecuador have suddenly contacted us, pleading for our help. They notified us that Venezuela stepped Oh Venezuela. Wait, what? Stepped into our lands illegally with the <laughs> After I declared war on them, they illegally stepped into our land. <laughs> Bro, I'm just role-playing as Putin right now. Am I really gonna have to get these events every single time? Can we take this? Yeah, come on the cast. Okay, that's Ecuador dealt with. If we're fast enough, we could actually just encircle all of these Colombian divisions. Then I also want to clean up this front again because we have five arrows for some reason again. Not even. That was seven. Panama should join the Central American Committee. Same for Costa Rica. Domain expansion. Ah. I can't battle plan this. This is so sad, Siri, please. I will spend enough time once I'm done with this series in the Amazon corridor. Still not in there, come on! Oh, this 
is ridiculous. Right, now he's gonna get pushed out immediately. Come on! No oh, fuck, I misclaimed. No! I shouldn't have vibed to the song, man. Lost the pocket because of that. That is how Hitler must have felt. Ach, scheiße! You're legitimately called Bio Bio. That is one of the provinces of all time. I legitimately stared at the screen and I was like, where's my medium tank chassis? <laughs> I thought it was a modern tank one, to be fair. All right, that's the breaker. Can pump a f put a few on this one as well. I guess we pocketed this part of Colombia, the northern part. Why did they add impassable terrain here? What kind of bullshit is that? And uh, once again, we're just going to annex everything. Maybe Churchill is gonna be nice this game. He does have a very luscious smile. You morons! Churchill just kept giving us land. <laughs> I guess I was right. He really is a nice lad, this game. Meanwhile, Nicaragua's entire army could muster one division against us. I guess that sounds fair. Don't want to anger God, after all. That is gonna be all of our expansion, though, for the foreseeable future until we attack the Allies. <laughs> I really don't want to make up those fronts. Let's regret everything I've ever done. But first, we have to do proper front lines everywhere. I'm gonna see if we can push these guys out. It's not a big encirclement, but you know, it's still an encirclement that we are doing here. Oh, UK. After everything you've given me, I'm doing this to your navy. What the fuck, America? Why are there six divisions defending Mexico? At least there's a few Americans appearing now. Thank you. Mexico capitulated to the Germans. That is enough reason. You stole land from me. You're not gonna flee to Argentina this time. Argentina is gonna come to you. Still just auto pushing the US. Admittedly, Truman has not sent any division over here. So yes, our focus tree is broken, but we also don't have any enemies here. We have lost 150,000 men. The US alone has lost 1.5 million. That's not Mexico, that's not Uruguay, that's not Venezuela, that's not the British. While battle planning with defensive divisions and without CAS. Okay, maybe this focus tree is a little bit busted. Thank you for getting encircled. Well, I saw this coming because everybody left this front after we pushed into Detroit. As is par for the course. All right, let's do a different arrow. A very girthy arrow. Ah, ah, I'm so terrified from black eyes. I saw this and I was like, fuck, this is small. We're missing like half of the traits. Guys, please, <laughs> please stop pushing into Detroit and then leaving. We have cut off Canada. Oh, that's a nice squiggly line. Only a master general could come up with such a fine line. That is the US dealt with. That has been the saddest invasion of America that I've participated in. And I was there on January 6th. Surely you have range. I don't want to check which boat has the shite range here. That's the 1936 hull that we're still using for these, right? Or that we have been using for the majority of these uh, torpedo destroyers. I'm not gonna be using these for anything, so goodbye. Sinking 200 boats surely won't come back to bite me in the arse. I have a surprise for you, Mussolini. <laughs> I don't think you'll like it. Although it looks like, like he's already leaving. How did... <laughs> Why is the axis in Africa? That took way too long uh, for me to process. I don't want to capitulate Germany right now, because if I did, then the Soviets would get all of the land. And I... <laughs> I really don't want to push two times through Germany and then all of my units are encircled, because the Soviets get to annex all of Germany, even though I'm occupying it and I'm at war with the Soviet Union. Italy has led in an Ireland. They could land in the UK. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, we have to put some pressure on the axis now. I guess we are gonna land in Western Africa. Don't really see any other way here right now. I guess one thing we could do is we could invade the UK and barricade every single port. Foreign porn, uh, porn garrisons. Port garrisons. Although foreign porn garrisons would also be... <laughs> I guess you can uh, roleplay that I'm Stalin and I shot every single guy in the uh, chain of command and you're the janitor. And then we can get our modern tanks over here and I'm gonna keep these guys in. And then we just draw a nice arrow over to Siberia. I didn't want to draw the meme arrow but I also knew it was not gonna last. There we go. Jesus. Why does Uruguay have such a big task force? I love it when the game is just teasing me. No, oh, you can build up to 10 air bases in here. No, you cannot. It's a demilitarized zone. No, it's a fucking desert. How should you address the Pope if he's your dictator? I could say daddy, but I don't think I want that. It's D-Day time, boys. And we have a whole zero points. Put your bets in chat whether Stalin is gonna survive. I guess we know he's gonna survive. 
What in the man of the high castle is this? <laughs> yes, Orochi. That's exactly what I want you to say every single time you address me. All right. Let's do the Africa dance again. Boop, 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 boop. It's kind of nice. Sweden freed Norway and now Norway is getting capitulated again. Okay, I'm sorry, Italy. I'm sorry for asking. I guess it's marining time. Yeah, there we go. With that, we have the supply up here. And then we take this. And I'm gonna try and get this. We can keep one guy here. Uh, this is obviously the Wrath of God. And there we go. We got the encirclement here. You say that running Hoi 4 in 1951 is a bad idea, but I counter that with running Hoi 4 is a bad idea. Italy is no longer in the Axis. And for some reason, I cannot draw a front line. We are at war with all of these nations. We should be able to draw a front line. But yes, I know, is is too complicated, Paradox. That's not what I pay money for. It wasn't just 16 divisions. All right. Guys, please. I was very close to using cheat attack, but with marines you don't need cheat attack. That's China dealt with. Nice. That should only be two factions. Long Ethiopia. I guess three factions, since Ethiopia is still alive. Paradox is literally trolling us right now. I can't even connect the front line here. Now we have to draw the sixth North African front. You please just take Tunis and the port and then... These guys are all dead. Yay! We have South Africa now as a pocket. Japan, come on! That's the third China war. Just annex them. Can we take... No, we cannot take Tobruk. We can just encircle Tobruk. Just drive around it. There we go. No! We got encircled. We got out supplied. You have done a great service. Tobruk will fall because of you. And the offensive shall continue. No! No! Ethiopia! <laughs> all right. You're gonna die. And the Suez has been secured. Who needs strategy? I don't care that there's 200 Germans here. Just gonna run them over. Let's defeat Ethiopia again. Feel free to join the Axis. Yes, police! Let only Ethiopia be a major in this faction. Oh, come on, Japan. Why are you being so cringe? Japan, that's it. You have diddled me for the last time. That was quick. What the fuck? We were in Egypt a minute ago. And we were already in Kurdistan. Yes. So many miners that are not gonna become majors. Although the Middle Eastern borders are gonna be, uh, not hamburgers, as the cool kids say. Oh, I don't wanna. Can I just not? Okay, we need one here. We need four over here. And then we need the rest in Yemen and whatnot. <laughs> He's just doing this for fun. <laughs> Bro, I can't. Once again. Do not capitulate people. It's just gonna cause trouble. I hope there's not a single Japanese division here. That naval invasion is gonna end very quickly either way. One German. One German protecting these 80 divisions here. What? That's 100 divisions. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. The AI did not like that. The AI did not like that at all. Bro, it's 100 divisions on this one tile. <laughs> A chill little encirclement. How many units do you have? That's one for the German army. That's why you don't push into Turkey. You have to do, deal with stupid little islands. Another pocket in France. Washed up German submarines. I'm a bit surprised how they got here though. I know it's ha Germans escaping to Argentina, but I guess I'll have to talk to my head of Navy. That is Germany out. <sighs> yeah. Even after the sixth time of doing all these borders again, it's not getting better. Sometimes you just have to look back at your life and remember that every single decision in your life has led you to this single moment. Whether that is good or bad is up to you, but I know what it is for me. I'm first gonna get all of those miners because <laughs> you know me. For legal reasons, this was a joke. That's the sixth Chinese-Japan war. <laughs> That's the first time that I had to do island hopping against Japan. I guess this is not your usual game. Oh, like, there's a couple of things that are a little bit different from normal. Sorry, headphone users. We have to be aggressive here. That's the UK. Now we only need to take out Sweden and Norway. The seventh Japanese-Chinese war. Oh, well, I never got around to it. I think it's just schizophrenia kicking in. I thought I saw something. Yeah, a subscribe button. Yemen is still a thing. 
<laughs> this is just... This battle down here will never end. Oh god, Japan has way too many points. Wait, why did I not get all of this stuff? So, if the AI annexes this land, they get it. But if I annex it, I don't. Whatever. I don't care. We're just gonna invade Japan and call it a D-Day. Let's just quickly take out the Finnish VPs. And then we won't have to worry about all of those pockets. Uh, we still have to worry about Japan getting all of Russia, but... Ugh, I don't know. At least Finland is gone then. Just capitulated Finland? The only thing that's left is Japan. And the Kopisch Bibidi Spiel. There's no Japanese in Japan, so let's just let's just go. 23 Marines is all it takes to take out Japan. I'm not sure if that's good. <laughs> That I've been in the Caucasus so many times that I know where the supply hub is. All right, let's go. Hopefully the final attack. Oh, Italy is also going in. Mongolia out. And that's China in a minute and then Siam as well. Oh boy. Can it finally be free and we can move on to Orsa. <laughs> I should savor these last few minutes while I can. <laughs> because apart from the usual world conquest pain, Argentina was actually pretty fun. Yes, paradox. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Another mate. Uzbekistan, of course. Who else would be a major other than Uzbekistan? And now for the most fun part of playthrough, clicking, which is different from the usual clicking. If you enjoyed this video, you can also watch this video where we conquered the world as Albania and it took over twice as long and five times as pain.